from the Washington Times. I, I, this is a headline, I tell you, this is a headline. 15,000 killers, 20,000 sexual assault convicts, 60,000 robbers among illegal immigrants at large. The Department of Homeland Security knows of at least 660,000 illegal immigrants at large in the U.S. with criminal records, including, as they say, why, 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 why is the number different in the headline? It says 13,000 convicted killers, nearly 16,000 convicted of sexual assault, and 56,000 involved in dangerous drugs. Thousands of other migrants have been charged, but not yet convicted of those and other crimes. Ah, I see. They are part of U.S. Immigration and Customs Enforcement's non-detained docket. ICE provided the data to Congress and the House Homeland Security Commit uh, Committee released it Friday, just as Vice President Kamala Harris was to land in Arizona for her first visit to the border in more than three years. It may be shocking to hear the Biden-Harris administration is actively, re is actively releasing tens of thousands of criminal illegal aliens into our communities, but their own numbers conclusively prove this to be the case said Rep. Mark Green, committee chairman. On social media, former President Donald Trump said the new data should force Miss Harris to cancel her border appearance. Kamala should immediately cancel her news conference because it was just revealed 13,000 convicted murderers entered our country during her three and a half years as borders are. That's crazy. These numbers are absolutely nuts, but all they're doing is quantifying what we already knew. I think the, the really funny thing about it, though, is how they, I, I don't know how you look at this and you, and you would agree that crime is down. No. no, the fact that they are criminal aliens in this country at all is inherent that there are criminals in this country and being here is illegal. Just the act of being here is illegal. I I'm appreciating that talking point, getting more airtime. I think I saw Nancy Mace and someone else, some other member of Congress saying the first thing they did was break the law. They're <laughs> all criminals. Right. right? They, they, they've all committed a criminal act. Yeah. And every state now is a border state, including West Virginia, just not far from this studio that we are at in the eastern panhandle of West Virginia, an illegal immigrant from Venezuela this year murdered a woman, turns out was also a convicted murderer in Venezuela, and then set her on fire. Oh, my goodness. Wow. That happened Lord. here. That's I mean, horrifying. So that is, it's happening everywhere. It's happening everywhere. Every state is a border state. What I find really interesting about these numbers is that these are people who were already convicted of crimes. It's not just that they are suspected of crimes right. or that they did these crimes when they came here necessarily. These are people who were convicted in their own countries and then came here. And my, my question is, how do they know this? And, and if they did know this, why were they not immediately deported? Dude, these people are coming in and CBP is like, hold on there a minute. Uh, are you a murderer, rapist, robber? Uh, I'm a murderer. OK. And right this way, sir. Come on in. Well, well I mean, one thing that seriously. happens, though, is that part of the questions that the Border Patrol asks are, are you afraid to go home? Do you fear right. for your life in your own country? And if you answer yes to those questions that you're afraid for your life in your own country, they say, OK, we can mark you down as an asylum seeker. Come on in. And because they removed the wait in Mexico policy, everyone is just waiting here. But what's interesting, too, is if you um, talk to immigration attorneys, most people who apply for asylum are not actually eligible for it and they are not approved for their asylum cases. But the cases happen so many years down the road that it's very difficult to get them out. And we have a DHS secretary who does not believe in the policy of deportation, even for one person. Well, if there's any list of people that ought to be deported, it'd probably be the 15,000 killers, 20,000 sexual assault convicts and uh, 60,000 robbers. Uh, like at this point, you have to assume this is Cloward Piven. Like that they are, in oh, fact, yes. trying to overthrow the system. 